You found the Steel National Championship Air Races presented by Reno Tahoe. Well, we've got the sport class coming up. Tommy, don't forget, this is a whole group of the home-built aircraft. We're going to see six laps. They're going to do that first lap on the larger eight-mile track and then drop down to the uh, inner track, which is just a little less than seven miles. It's going to be really exciting. The pace plane has told them they have a race. It's pulling up. They're headed for pylon number one, and it's going to be stay in your lane until you get there, and then they can begin that left turn, Tommy. Absolutely. They get to that guide pylon out there, and the race will be underway, as you say, for the longer, longer wrap, uh, lap, and then we will go to the, the, shorter, the customary course for these planes. As always, uh, having the pole position is a great place to be in uh, race 919. Peter Balmer uh, has that in the red and white aircraft you see there on the left side. But, the, man, it's tight right there in the first three, Tommy, as they yeah. come around that first couple pylons. Race 92, David Robinson of Oregon putting the moves on uh, Peter Balmer right out of the bat. He's not going to try to let him gain any uh, big-time margin between himself and the rest of the field. Yeah, and John uh, Flanagan in race 34, the white lightning glass air right behind him. Those three are really right together down into the Valley of Speed here. Again, they are on the longest lap they will run during the course of this race. Be six laps total. Here's a great shot from out in the desert with our pylon can, Tommy. You get a great view of what 50 feet over the desert at uh, 250, 300 miles an hour or more actually it looks like they're going to come right at you. It's going to be great to hear them fly right over the top of our pylon can here. Tommy, they're coming around. Pylon 7, 8, and 9 headed for the home stretch here. And boy, we've got a tight race right up front. We still got uh, 919 Peter Balmer, but also race 92 with Robinson right together. Robinson going to have to fly a little faster. He's on a bit of a longer course right now, as wide as he is, but he's doing a great job of keeping up with our, uh, our number one qualifier, Peter Balmer. And, and it looks as though he's passed him. Yeah, it looks like Robinson might have come around him there at the. Uh, Head through that last pylon, but we'll see how it shakes out. Sometimes, uh, you know, it's just a little bit of uh, maneuvering. And now it, uh, you look at the race right behind that. Uh, Balmer's definitely under attack from Flanagan in, uh, white in the uh, White Lightning yeah. for sure. And it looks like as they're headed down past uh, pylon uh, number six and headed for pylon seven, it looks like uh, White Lightning has passed Summerhawk in race 92. He's now in third. and four. That should be race 611. Joe Caraggio, we'll have to confirm that for you. We get a little closer to us, we can get a little better. And it looks like uh, he's making a pretty good move on Balmer as well. So I wonder if Balmer's got uh, something you know, going in the airplane, because he definitely was right up there, but he's fall back, falling back pretty well steadily. Yeah, down. precipitously through the course of one lap, basically. Looks like he's uh, falling clear to fourth place, uh, possibly now. So our leader coming around the corner here. Beautiful looking airplane. That's David Robinson in the Summerhawk. Race 92 out front, followed by John Flanagan in race 34. And we got a great race going on uh, still for third and fourth, where Balmer is uh, in race 919 is still trying to hold off uh, Joe Caraggio in 611. Our third and fourth yeah. place there. Balmer and Caraggio. Balmer in the red and white. Caraggio in pursuit. Caraggio's in a Lance Air, and uh, Balmer is as well. So you get to see two uh, Lance Airs, different little different paint scheme on them, but very comparable airplanes, and you start to see the speeds match up. Yeah, so I'm not sure what uh, Peter Balmer had going there for a little bit, 919, but it looks like he's uh, righted the ship, and now he's uh, back up to speed and uh, holding off uh, the fourth place airplane pretty well right now. Quickly back to uh, our leader, actually one and two, if we can show you, but that is our leader right there, and that is David Robinson, race 92 for Bend, Oregon, the Lancer Legacy. Another great Summer shot Hawk. of our first two airplanes here, Tommy, as they come around our pylon cam. As they're uh, making those last couple of pylons on their way to the home stretch. But don't forget, you'll see in this pylon shot, you see that big can at the top of the pylon. That's right at 50 feet. That's our minimum safe altitude. Part of the safety regulations here at Reno, the pilots can easily tell by looking out the window, as long as their helmet, their head is at that height, they know they're not too low. But we've got uh, race 92, David Robinson is uh, now beginning to stretch it out just a little bit out front. And it looks like Peter Balmer in race 919 for, uh, for third. You see that uh, coming into view. 
he is uh, definitely be needing to hold that third, fourth place off. Peter Palmer more than halfway through with his race at this point, as is half of our field. This is lap four of six total laps. We'll be going just over 41 miles in total. And going very quickly. Tommy, as they're headed down the uh, the top, the farthest north on the course, you can see there a lot of them are taking advantage of that wind, that little bit of tailwind. They're getting a little altitude as they make those first few pylons. They're descending with that tailwind and accelerating through those last few pylons, which puts them then into the valley of speed for the last portion of it, portion of it on this slightly smaller course, and they accelerate their way back to uh, back towards pylon number one, where they can get started again. But Great use and great racing technique you're seeing by our pilots here in this uh, in this heat. Job well done so far by Summer Hawk, the Lancer Legacy Race 92. Our leader, David Robinson, out of Oregon. There's Peter Balmer holding down third place. He started the day at the uh, in the pole position as the top qualifier. Back to the lead here, Tommy, with uh, Lance Air in uh, race 919, Peter Ballmer. Third and fourth again, Ballmer and Coraggio. Ballmer He's able to hold him off for now. And uh, as we jump back to the leader here, you see a great look as uh, down from on the desert floor, what it looks like as these aircraft come around and go around those pylons. And, Tommy, obviously the shortest course is the closest one to that pylon. And we have judges at every pylon that are looking up through that metal barrel. And if they see any piece of that airplane through the barrel, then they know that our pilot has cut the corner, cut the pylon, and that's a disqualification. So yeah. the pilots are trying to get as close as they can without actually going over the top of the pylon for a cut. And admittedly, it is rare to, to see a, a penalty for that. These guys are schooled pretty well, and, and that's a serious infraction right there. That'll, yeah, that'll, absolutely. And that's part of, race off the board. part of the safety regulations here as well, Tommy, and that really is part of the professionalism that is uh, not just the pilots that are flying, but the entire Reno Air Race Association operation. Absolutely professional and uh, done in the safest way possible. There's our leader low over the desert coming around those final few pylons of Peter Ballmer, race 919 be coming around and uh, I believe getting the white flag here just momentarily as he gets ready to start his final lap and continues to put some distance between himself and the rest white of the flag, field still in second flag. place there you white go. lightning John Flanagan race 34 but it's all about race 92 so far absolutely and uh, just great job and the field seems to have kind of settled in at least the first four airplanes are just kind of evenly matched now nobody's really gained in on anybody but they're not falling back terribly far either so nope. There you see our leader again from our uh, desert shot out the pylon cam. Great shot of that uh, airplane. And Peter Palmer's just doing a great job of this heat leading this race. You can see him roll wings level there just a little bit as he heads down towards the Valley of Speed. At least the portion of it that this class gets to be in. The no far need to press, no, no need to push anything right now. He's got a couple more pylons and then he'll be over there in the Valley of Speed. Look at how even he's holding that altitude, just above that 50 feet uh, minimum altitude. And uh, the airplane is just, seems to be very happy and, and smooth and, and just flying along, Tommy, doing really well. Yeah, just run out the clock, play some defense right now, and bring home a win. Yeah, this is not the point you want to get too aggressive and cut a pylon, right? You just no, want to, no, no. Don't, don't, don't overstress the engine, don't overstress the airframe, don't cut a pylon, just like you said, just right. bring it home. And here he comes around the final couple turns, last pylon, Headed for the home stretch, and he's headed for the checkered flag momentarily, Tommy. Checkered flag, checkered flag. Summerhawk, race 92, David Robinson, Bend, Oregon, your unofficial winner here, Sport Heat 1B. Recover runway 8, wind 060 at 6. We're watching a few of our other. Uh, Race class finishers come around. That last couple pylons, Tommy's are headed home here. Beautiful red and white. Yeah, that's Bob Mills in the Rocket 6. And across the finish line right there. Beautiful. So we started. Here we go. Well, 
sorry, that Tight wasn't race, right. Bob Mills. That was the uh, that was Dave Morse. Yeah, first absolutely. red plane. Here's Bob Mills. Tight race right here between 49. Bob Mills looks like he passed. He may have passed Neil Wisher. Yeah, Triple Eight right there at the end. We'll have to wait and see what the official uh, ruling is. But it looked like that last turn he had a little speed coming out of the Valley of Speed was able to take it with him. Let's go back and look at the race here, Tommy. Well, here's the start right here. And of course, our number one qualifier, Peter Ballmer, held the lead for, well, not a very long time. <laughs> Wasn't long before David Robinson, race 92, put the pressure on. Here in our first lap, he was able to get by. Yeah, he uh, right there is where he made his move, heading into those uh, first couple pylons off the home stretch. And then here he is out front, and once, uh, David Robinson got there at Summerhawk. He stayed out front. Just a good looking race all the way around. Maintained the altitude. Smooth flight. Uh, didn't waste a lot of energy with uh, you know gaining altitude or the, the wind isn't too bad at the moment. So not a lot of bouncing around. It looks like he just uh, had a very solid performance here from race 92 and David Robinson. Qualified at 281 miles an hour. Wouldn't be surprised to see his uh, time for this particular race is average. average speed being about uh, a few miles an hour faster than that. And there's that. the final pylons. Yeah, absolutely. That's our that's our winner, uh, run official winner. You know, race 92, David Robinson. You see him roll out here on the home stretch. Wings come level, Tommy. There it is, going across the, across the final finish line. John Flanagan in second, the White Lightning. Peter Ballmer taking third place, unofficially, all unofficially well, here at this was, point. Here was the excitement right at the end, Tommy. Race 49, Bob Mills makes his way past Neil Wisher in race triple eight. There's your unofficial uh, placements right there. David Robinson, Summerhawk, race 92, takes the win and uh, campaigning hard to make it into the 1A category, or the A category, I should say be uh, two or three A by the time we get around to there. Peter Ballmer, who started the day uh, as the number one qualifier, winds up in third place. White Lightning, race, race 34 with John Flanagan, winds up in second place, followed by Caraggio, race 6-1-1. Morse, race 99, Bob Mills, again, as you said right there, closing out, we think, we think, Neil Wisher, race 49 over race 8-8-8. Yeah, how exciting is that, Tommy? We had a photo finish in the last two airplanes of this class. I mean, it was exciting all the way around. As promised, the sport class delivered yet again. And there's David Robinson in uh, race 92, the Summerhawk. Uh, excuse me, race 99. My apologies, Dave Morris, race 99 in Martin's Legacy. But uh, just returning back here to runway eight as the class finishes up. But excitement all the way around today, Tommy. Yeah, absolutely. This class knows what entertainment is all about. They gave us a, a photo finish, as you say, in each one of the races. So much fun to watch and so much diversity in the looks and, 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 the, and the mission, the design of each one of these planes. And they're all just designed to get faster and faster by any means necessary within reason. Yeah, absolutely. Got a great shot here of, uh, looks like our leader race night yeah, too. There it is. That's David Robinson in 92 in the Summer Hawk. That's our winner unofficially. So when you saw everybody pitch up there at the end of the race, Tommy, what they do is they pitch up to altitude, enter a downwind, just like a normal traffic pattern at any other airport. And they uh, sometimes have to sequence in a little bit so they don't necessarily land in the finishing order depending on how they get oh, lined I, I up on you. downwind. So that's how we had the other aircraft ahead of Mr. Robinson ah, when he you. landed. But here you see race 34, John Flanagan in uh, White Lightning. It's a Glass Air 3, beautiful looking airplane. He had a great race as well. And our winner, David Robinson, rolling out and getting ready for a brief celebration. Then it's back to work with the rest of the team. What a great day. What a beautiful day here in Reno, Tahoe. Just absolutely chamber of commerce stuff. And, of course, this is a destination, the biggest little city in America, Reno, Nevada. If you like to have fun in the outdoors, I mean, look at the sparkling Truckee River right there, the mountains just minutes away, Tahoe, et cetera. Mountain biking is a very, very big pursuit in this part of the world. If you like to fish, I know I do. We got some great trout fishing, some white water action for it, and that climbing wall is just calling my name. I'm not answering, though. I was going to say, not I'm going to gonna come watch that if you climb that wall. <laughs> uh, a lot of people are great at it, and it is a great, fun experience. I, I don't think that's exactly my cup of tea at this point. 
<laughs> You're watching the Steel National Championship races presented by Reno Tahoe. You'll find the full show on Fox FS2 and FS1 from February to July.